transformative people like our next guest, social media sensation Danielle Allure Taylor. With a needle and thread, the mom of two has become an unlikely TikTok star. This is what she does. She is touching lives around the world by breathing renewed life into childhood keepsakes that have over the years lost their luster. I know, right? <laughs> the stuffed animal restorer has brought joy and nostalgia not only to her grateful clients, but I know, right? Oh, also to her one million followers who can't stop watching her heartwarming videos that have been viewed tens of millions of times. If you think you said all oh, just a minute ago, take a look at this. Have you ever met a stuffed animal so well loved that all the fur came off? Well, now you have. I'd love to introduce you to Mousy. Mousy and his best friend Jack have been together ever since Jack was born, and the two of them have been inseparable ever since. They have created so many beautiful memories together, and Mousy truly is a member of the family. I deeply appreciated their trust and told them I would do absolutely everything I could to preserve this beautiful friend and the condition he was in so that he could have many more years together with his beautiful family. But I was able to create an inner barrier for Mousy so that while he might look damaged on the outside, he's safe on the inside. I would like to thank Jack for trusting me with such an incredibly precious friend. I'm so glad that I could take Mousy from the state he was in to where he is now so that the two of you can share many more years together. And I hope I get to hear all about it. Get your hankies. Please welcome Danielle Alore Taylor to our family. Um, I'm gonna need one. Of those. I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> and you are crying. I made the video and I'm you still crying. You made the video and you're crying. I mean, first of all, I didn't even know that there was a job called a stuffed animal restorer. It's definitely a dying art, and I'm glad to be bringing light life back into something that not many people know about anymore. And this was born over the pandemic for you. This it was. This was an unexpected journey. It, it was. I lost my job at the beginning of the pandemic, and I was trying to find a way to uh, help my family out, supplement my income, also keep myself busy in yeah. such a scary time yeah. in the world. And you put out an ad on Facebook. Saying, <laughs> I did. I, I made an ad, and uh, no one, no one bit, which made me sad. But I, I was hopeful that eventually someone would reach out, and they did. And they did. You are like a. You refer to yourself like a surgeon. I do. Because you really are piecing some of. I mean, that little mouse had no hair. He didn't. <laughs> he still doesn't. But that's that's yeah, how Jack. But he was loved, to, literally, to the hair. Because you've seen kids. My son as well. My son calls it stuffies. His stuffy, oh, yes. right? And they get attached, and they mean so much um, to the person. And it's personal for you. You had your rabbit. Yes, as a kid. I do. He's actually here right this now. This is the rabbit in the bowl. Rabbit in the bowl. So this is my childhood stuffed rabbit. He didn't used to look like that, uh, but I loved him so much over the years that all of his fur came off, and he's really one of the reasons why I do what I do today, because I can't restore him, but I can restore other people's stuffed animals. Oh. So. <laughs> your mom, Mary, she would stitch together your rabbit. Yes, I. she actually would, almost every day, uh, would help fix my little rabbit and sew him back up. And I would come to her all the time asking for help. And eventually she taught me how to be able to do it. Your mother would restore your rabbit for you. And you're, you've passed this tradition along to your daughter, yes, who's I in am. the audience. Lila is 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and, and
And your mom, Mary, your mom gave her a replica of your beloved rabbit? She did. Oh. She found one after years of searching. And when I opened up that box, I was so emotional. It was amazing to see, again, what he used to look like, what he has become. You know, I was thinking about what I feel and people feel when they watch your videos. I watch the military reunions all the time. And when you see someone reconnected, with something they love so much and they miss and they cherish. I know you've done like a thousand stuffed animal restoring projects and people cry. I mean, there was one teddy bear that a child who had experienced trauma was reunited with. So you go from tears to laughter. It's just an emotional, beautiful emotional roller coaster watching the reaction. Take a look at this. A tall glass of anxiety just came across my for you page. <laughs> can't stop crying because she takes stuffed animals that have been oh, she takes stuffed animals that have been so loved and cherished by their owners she cleans them and restuffs them and then gives them back and I can't stop crying coming up how Danielle's passion project on TikTok has turned into an actual collaboration beyond her wildest dreams. Transformative people doing great things after the break. We are back with Danielle Allure, Taylor, TikTok sensation whose transformative talents just has everybody on social media glued. Millions of people watch as she receives a tattered stuffed animal love so much that they need a little restoring and she brings them back to life. I love with the animals, you take a little bit of the stuffing from the animal and you create a little envelope and it's inside. Tell me yes. what that is. My mom used to do that for rabbit. She, he doesn't have an envelope inside of him, but she uh, would always take a little piece of his stuffing that would fall out. Uh -huh. She would put it back in and she'd say, we can't forget his memories. And so I do that with all of my restorations. That is so sweet. Because at the end of the day, it's all about a stuffed animal being these people's best friends. And uh -huh. although they might look different, it's imperative that they remember that there's always a piece of who they used to be, just like us. I gotta ask you though, <laughs> I, you know me, I'm, there has got to be a stuffed animal out there. You're like, I don't know what miracle you want me to work on this little guy. <laughs> I mean, are there challenges where you're sitting there going, okay, I'm gonna have to bathe you for about two weeks. Yes. <laughs> There's definitely challenges with each and every one, but there are a few where it takes me a while just to figure out what on earth am I going to do this for this poor little friend, but it always works out somehow. What's the longest restoration project you've had? I've had one that's taken about 48 hours, if not longer, just because it was torn apart by a dog. Oh. And it, it was, I mean, complete reconstruction. Okay, I'm so where were you? My son had a little baby shark and it said Moses and my hairstylist, Johnny, even though I'm still friends with him after this, his dog ate Moses. <laughs> oh yeah, tore the little baby shark to shreds. Oh, no. Luckily, they fear me, so they went and bought another one and tried to trick me like an episode of Different Strokes, yeah. but I knew it was my <laughs> They tried to trick me. Even but you knew that special friend. That I Moses knew the had. one I bought my child mm -hmm. at birth that they allowed a dog to eat. <laughs> uh, wasn't the one. I wish I'd met you sooner. I wish you would have Okay, well, me. now he's got many more stuffed animals, so we know who to call. Uh, you Perfect. were collaborating with Netflix on a I kid's did. series called Lost Ollie. Yes. That is so sweet. The greatest adventure are the ones that bring us home. Yes, <laughs> and it's the story of a stuffed rabbit who goes on an epic journey to reunite with the little boy he loves. Such a good story. I would definitely watch it. I cried. Make sure you have tissues. Oh, but you just, I mean, you're melting hearts and transforming <laughs> these stuffed animals. That means so much. So I know our team asked me, did I have a stuffed animal? for you to restore, and I said I didn't because they replaced the one that they had, the <laughs> dog eat that belonged to my son, but one of my beloved associate producers, her name is Lauren, uh, when we heard Lauren's mom, Michelle, has a stuffed animal in need of TLC, you said you would help. So here's the deal. It's a stuffed animal named Diggy <laughs> that Michelle has had since she was a baby. Aww. It holds a special place in her heart Aww. because it looks just like her childhood dog with the same name. Except Diggy went missing when we sent Diggy. <laughs> Diggy got lost. For Diggy a got moment. lost in the mail. Oh. <laughs> Beloved Diggy, the one that Michelle had her entire life, went missing. 
Don't worry, though. We found Diggy. We, got we him. found Diggy. We found Diggy. So, <laughs> Diggy turned up at your home safe and sound in Michigan. Yes. Uh, but you were already on your way. So y'all were flying past we, each other. We passed each okay. other. Okay, so Diggy is safe and sound. Yes. We're waiting. And when you go back, you're going to transform Diggy. Yes. For, so Lauren is here. Right? Your mom is here, too, right here. <laughs> so we adore Lauren so much. And, and because I love her so much, I know her mom has to be a great mom because yes. great moms raise great kids. Yes. So what we're going to do, <laughs> because when they told me that Diggy was lost in the mail, I, I screamed on the Zoom. I was like, wait, what, what? You and me both. OK. <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to document the transformation of Diggy back to Luster. Head to our social media, at Tamron Hall Show, <laughs> and follow the adventures of Diggy. Yeah. Danielle is going to take Diggy. Yeah. And we're going to follow Diggy from Michigan it, with Danielle all the way back to Michelle, who's crying yeah. already. <laughs> and you'll be able to follow Thank you for what you're doing for people. So much, Danielle. Give it up for Danielle.